Hello, church family. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Now, it's good to be able to be with you here this morning, although virtually, uh, to give this amazing testimony of the goodness of God. Over the past month or so, I've been in a battle with uh, COVID-19 complications and it's been a very tough battle. Uh, some of you, I suspect, have been through similar. In my case, after a typical two weeks of uh, the fever, the body aches, the fatigue and all of that, uh, pneumonia also set in and did quite a bit of damage to my lungs and hence the oxygen uh, as part of my recovery. Uh, honestly, this nearly ended me. I, When I was admitted to the hospital about two and a half weeks ago, uh, the doctor told Diane to expect the worst. Uh, rationally, uh, when we called the ambulance, and I can tell you that, that I too thought it was the end, really, but despite my rational mind, Jesus reassured me, praise God, uh, that this was not the end. In fact, he reassured me that while I was going to endure something very difficult, it would be for his glory, praise God. He brought to mind, uh, to my mind, he brought the story of the blind man that Jesus healed. And he spit in the mud, he, he uh, made mud and put mud on the blind man's eyes and had him wash it off and so on a couple of times. Jesus reassured me that what I, that, what, that I was, you know, over the next few days, going to have mud put in my eyes, so to speak, and, and other things that I would do that, uh, and through that, he would heal me. For his glory. My testimony is that this is exactly uh, the way it went. The doctors overseeing my care at the hospital said uh, that when she admitted me on Wednesday, uh, she expected the worst and certainly didn't expect to be ready to discharge me on the following Monday. So praise God, who's the great healer. Psalm 23 uh, reads in part, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me, and your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Uh, this psalm has become very real to me. Over the last few weeks, someone asked me uh, in, in talking about this ordeal, with that when you thought you were going to die, were you scared? It's a valid question. Uh, it's one that prior to this, I've always wondered how I would feel. I can honestly say that uh, when, when I first thought, felt like I was ready to die, that there was fear. However, I can honestly say that as Jesus reassured me in faith, um, as I mentioned, uh, that all of this fear subsided and a peace that transcendeth all understanding uh, replaced this fear. And after that, despite everything else that happened, I was in complete peace. The main point is the power of prayer. Prayer first, prayer always. This is the key. God showed himself to me through this experience. Uh, if there was one human element that God used from day one of my sickness, uh, it wasn't the healthcare system, it was Dr. Tatum. I thank God that he was there with me throughout this ordeal. Uh, at some point, I called the pastor and the elders, according to James chapter 5, to pray for me. And I give thanks to God for the pastor and the elders who came at great risk to themselves, um, masking up, entering my home, my quarantine zone, uh, to anoint me with oil, to lay hands on me, to pray for me. In my opinion, that's when the healing began. Uh, for all of you in my church family that prayed for me and thought about me, sent me cards and messages, it just brought tears to my eyes every day uh, to know that you were there thinking about me and praying for me. And not just Mount Carmel Church. I was blessed to have people, people around the world, my Christian brothers and sisters all around the world praying for me our mission in Rwanda, the children, the volunteers, the staff, there at the mission, they were all praying. Our family there in Rwanda they were praying. Several churches uh, praying for me there, the Grace Room Ministry, uh, family and friends in Canada, my faithful brothers and sisters that I work with in India, 
and I have colleagues around the country praying for me. This made all the difference. God is faithful. The prayer, James 5.16 says in part that the prayers of the righteous person, the prayer of a righteous person, has great power as it is working. And um, Hebrews 10.23 says, Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promises is faithful. And my brothers and sisters, my testimony is this, that our God, the creator of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen, our God is faithful, kind, and generous to us as children. We should pray that always that his will will be done in our life, and we should pray always to become more perfected in our trust and our dependence on him. I and my family have gone through something difficult here. You, too, may be going through something difficult in your life. If not right now, you will be, uh, or you just have, or you will be soon. Uh, we all go through difficult things. Know that nothing is impossible for God. Nothing is too difficult for him to overcome in your life. Know also that God, his ways are not our ways. His it doesn't always work out the way we want it. But in faith, we can trust that his way is better than the way that we want it, because it's for his glory. So I can tell you that going through this trial, his way, that there are many in that hospital, for example, doctors, nurses, attendants, people who were taking care of me, who saw the power of God at work during those few days that I was there with them. They saw God, so to speak, putting mud on my eyes. They saw me wash it off. They saw him heal me through this process. And it's my prayer that those people who were able to witness this miracle would be brought into the kingdom as a result. I also pray God's blessings on all of you, my church family around the world. So friends, praise God. My recovery is not over. I don't know how long it'll take, and I don't know if I'll recover fully uh, to where I was really immaterial. But I know that God has kept, kept me here for a reason. And I know that I have work to do uh, for him. I'm recommitted uh, to doing God's will in whatever he sets before me. And I hope that this testimony will strengthen you as well to recommit your life to God and to do his will in all things. So praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above, ye heavenly host, and praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, friends.